All right, more piston content. Appreciate y'all for tapping in. Best way you can help the channel right now is thumbs up the video, share the video. And if you haven't, you like what you hear, subscribe to the channel. But most people think that the, the signing a free agent, um, Trey Lyles, could be the end of Seoko Duboye. All right, whoever you say, Duboye, I don't know. People get mad. You're not pronouncing their name right. I'm like, man. I'm like, man, I'm not fucking George Blaha. Okay, y'all complain about George Blaha too. I'm doing this to have fun, make a couple dollars. You know, y'all like I'm supposed to be a uh, uh, a name savant. I'm not. I'm a butcher shit. That's what makes shit funny. Then when I use the Google, you press the Google name and say it. People say that was too creepy. I'm like, oh, I don't know what y'all want. What do you miss? What they really want from a? You know what I'm saying? But uh, blueberry lemonade slap. I'm drinking this. Girl, put me on this. But um. I don't, I don't. I think they're two different type of players. Let me say that first. Trey Lyles is more of a, a modern power forward. Okay, he went to Kentucky. I watched a lot. That's when I kind of was following. I was a huge Kyler Party fan because he bought Chris Douglas Roberts from Memphis, and I followed him to Kentucky. So, but people forget Trey Lyles still. He'll be 26, so he's fairly young. What I like about Trey Lyles is people forget he's 16. He can step out and shoot it a bit. Great mid range shooter. At least when I seen him in college. Can shoot the three fairly well um, for his, for the position. He just didn't get a lot of time in Denver, in San Antonio, and Denver. You know, and one thing could be right is maybe it's it's uh, Jimmy Grant insurance, two years, five and a half, five and a half million dollars. But I'm not sure why he didn't stick in the. Sorry, I'm not sure why he didn't stick, or why he never got a chance. I just think this is a guy that need a chance. You know, and maybe it's defensively he's an issue. He's a liability defensively, but. I see him more of a true, a true modern four, six ten, got a mid range jumper, can occasionally pop out to three. And there's something about those Canadian players that they don't have that, that that doll. Like we just said, DMS. They don't have that. Woof. They don't have that killer in them. The one, the modern Canadian players that had a killer is Jamal Murray. But had you put Jamal Murray heart in his, he put his heart in you know uh, in his engine in the Wiggins and Trey Lyles. I think they'll be easily all star players. The talent is there. But the thing about Canadian players, they don't have that. Uh, they historically, a lot of people view, view them as they don't have that that heart. They don't have that. Well, I won't say heart. They, yeah, they don't have that heart, that motor. And I think you know Jamal Murray has really uh, uh, been a Canadian killer. Even with Steve Nash, I'm not saying he didn't have heart because he played through a lot of injuries. But with Steve Nash, he was more seen as he's a true point, you know. But Murray is a true killer. He's one of the few Canadian players you've seen. That had a Kobe Kobe killer in them, and that's kind of what uh, I think Lyles and Wiggins are, are missing. And, and I think Tristan Thompson got a little bit in them too. I think Tristan Thompson got a little bit of them, a little bit of killer in them as well. So, um, but um, I think that's what we're missing. But I think he's I think he's a, I think he's once again people got mad at Kelly Olynyk. Hopefully, I clear I cleaned up that that I helped cleared it up for you. Kelly Olynyk is just going it's a modern big. He can step out, shoot it. He can post up, you know, okay defensively. I think he's adequate enough. So he's going to be a guy that's going to start. People keep saying, who is Olenek? Who's going to be our start? Fucking Jeremy Isaiah Stewart is right there. He's your starting five. He's going to be your one, two, three, four, fifth. He's going to be your five. Just because he ain't seven foot. There's not a lot of seven footers going around. You know, Joel Embiid and, you know. So, like I said before, Ben Wallace, you know, was most centers, it was the Still, you know, the heyday of centers down there. Most centers was several inches taller than him. Kelly Olenek is not going to start. Isaiah Stewart, job to lose. And Stewart maintained last year that he can control the paint. He can get rebounds. He can do the dirty work. So, it's just the ignorance of some basketball fans. You can tell y'all ain't grow up with, 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 with a father figure in y'all life to teach y'all sports. Y'all didn't have that. That guy didn't like to teach y'all sports because it's just pure ignorance. I think Trey Lyles is more of a four- He's going to give you that mid-range, that a little bit of athleticism at that position. I think he's going to spell Jeremy Grant at the four more than maybe give you a little bit at the five. But one thing about Lowes and Olenek is they're athletic. They can dribble. They can shoot a bit. They can put the ball up for the athletic. Olenek is a modern five. He's not the, the creme de la creme in modern five, but he's a modern five. Trey Lowes is a modern four. So... What you're getting now is a bunch of cheap. You're not going to go out there. You're not going to attract the DeMar DeRozan's. You're not going to attract the, the Kawhi Leonard's with this core. This core has to grow, gel, and go through tribulations together. 
And with the Pistons, it was with the going to work Pistons. It was it was minimized because they were veterans already. But when you have a young team, it's more of the the bad boy Pistons. Okay, where they they young, they, they get put together, they start to jail, they grow together. You know, then they started then they started attract they start, then they start attracting the 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 veteran talent. Then they started to make those trades and then. Uh, Dantley want to come and then Aguirre filled him. So then you, once you start kind of getting there, starting to win it, then you and start drafting well and getting those, then you start to, uh, then you start to attract, then you start to attract the Dantleys and stuff of that and, and, and other worlds and stuff of that nature. So, um, so it's, uh, so it takes time. It takes time. That's what I'm trying to say. It takes time. And it's just going through the phase. Anybody that knows sports, you know, in the beginning phase, you're not going to attract the, the, the Scotties, the Jordans, and those type of guys. Just the beginning, you're going to have a young guys, some young veteran mix, but, you know, that's what you had back in the day. You know, they're going to grow. You're going to make some trades. You're going to get some free. You're going to make some trades. You're going to end up. The first was Isaiah, Kelly Tribuca, and those guys. You know. Then they transform. Eventually, they get Joe. They draft Sally. They draft Rodman. You know, they draft the Bill and Bear way before that. And then you you go you go in the playoffs and you come up short versus versus uh, the Knicks. And you come up short versus a few other teams. And then you finally make it. And you come up short versus Boston. There there's levels to 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 a young team becoming the league team that that it once was. We seen it with the with the going to work Pistons. You know, we had to. Get through the playoffs. You had to get through Orlando. We had to, we had to get through, you know, New Jersey. You had to get there. So that's your trials and tribulations. You know what I'm saying? So there's levels. There's drafting young players. There's gelling young players. There's adding pieces to make the young players well. And then it's adding the whipped cream and cherry on top of those veteran players that's gonna get you over the hump. So that's the Pistons are at the bare minimum. Now had the idiots. I'm gonna finish on Lyles and Dwayne in a minute. Had the idiots traded Drummond and Blake Griffin earlier. We we will be in an advanced stage of a, a more advanced stage of the rebuild, but it's okay. So he made for it up with, with three picks in the first round of last year's draft. He might make up with with Sabave and Lee. K K K Cunningham gave him a huge boost. So it's levels to to make it. You just don't you become a a great team, especially if you're a small market. You need your, your Giannis. You need your K. You need those guys. So, but to be honest, um, I think they play two different totally different positions. I think Sayoko Dubonye is a guy who's still growing. I think he's a guy who's a perimeter guy. I think he I think he's more of a gonna guard threes, twos, more maybe in some certain situations, ones, then he's gonna guard fours and fives. But he only he only 20 years old. People from, why trade a 20-year-old player? Why? He's 6'8, 230 at 20. Give him some time. I think. I think um Troy Weaver made a mistake. Getting Jeremy Grant, getting Josh Jackson. He stunned his growth in no G League last year. But I think at some point they gotta make way. If they gonna play Jackson if they're gonna play Killian and um K and I'll get there later at the two one and two, Josh Jackson need to spell them. Or they need to trade some of these guys. And I think the prime candidate is Jeremy Grant and let Du Boyer play. Not necessarily saying he's gonna take his position. But I'm necessarily saying you move Josh to the three, you put the Boye behind him. He, he's in some type of rotation, but I mean we'll see. But um, I think Trey Lyles is more of a, a spell behind. Uh, he more spelling Jeremy Grant. I do. I think Kelly Olynyk provides some stability behind Isaiah Stewart. I still think the Boye is buried behind. Um, he's still buried behind. Um, Josh Jackson, Sadiq Bay, and then you, it's him. So, excuse me, I didn't mean Jeremy Grant. He's more buried behind them, and they need to make a move. You know, they need to make a move for one of them to shine. But, hey, it is what it is. Um, I, I think Trey Lyles is more of the replacement for the – for. Um, he's more of the spell or, or he's more of the backup for uh, Jeremy Grant. So, that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, inquiry, sponsorship, video quest, all my social media links description. Twitter's the fastest way, then Facebook, then Instagram, all my links there. Reach out anytime. I want to make a financial donation. Cash app, CJ Good313. That's in the description. 
PayPal link there as well too. Venmo, CJ Good 3413 if you want to find out your donations. Best way to donate, thumbs the video up. Share the video, subscribe to the channel. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Peace.